right now at five. The search for Alicia Watts comes to a tragic ending. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office announcing they found a body they believe to be hers. The body was found in Norman about an hour and 40 minutes outside of Charlotte. Her boyfriend, James Dunmore, is now in custody charged with murder. He was arrested at his home in Charlotte today. His video obtained by us here at WCNC Charlotte shows him being placed into handcuffs, as you can see. That's how we start the news at five. I'm Colin Mayfield and I'm Vanessa Rufus. This case certainly has had a lot of twists and turns, so we do want to walk you through this timeline with the main points. We can tell you Watts was last seen July 16th, leaving Dunmore's home. They were supposed to go to a comedy show at Bojangles Coliseum, but never got there. Two days later, Dunmore was found unresponsive in Watts's car at a DMV office in Anson County. The next day, Alicia's family reported her missing after she didn't show up for work. Then on July 26th, CMPD officers were seen searching Dunmore's home in University City. He had been considered a person of interest in the case. And then today, as we mentioned, authorities in Montgomery County finding a body they believe to be Alicia Watts. And WCNC Charlotte's Jane Montreal has been following this story from the start. Jane joins us live from Montgomery County. This is where Watts's body was found. Jane, what are officials saying today? Well, obviously a very sad day. They send their condolences to the Watts family and group of friends, which there are many here. Her house about 20 minutes from here in Moore County and why the body of Alicia Watts ended up here in the woods beyond the cemetery is still one of those questions that remains unanswered. About 100 yards behind me, Moore County Sheriff's Office, their special operations trailer was set up there. And beyond the woods, across the dirt road from the air, we saw the tape cordoning off a pretty large area. This was a multi-agency task force that were out here earlier and uh, they were on this investigation since day one. We also saw friends and some family arriving from nearby Moore County consoling each other as they learned the grim news. Montgomery County Sheriff Pete Heron confirming with us just a short while ago what family has been suspecting. This is not the outcome that we had been hoping for. But by finding Alicia today, it can bring some closure. I hope and I pray it brings some closure to family and friends moving forward. My friend was at the peak of her life. My friend was living life. You prayed on my friend. You are a, a sick individual. You're sick. You prayed on her. And this hurts us. Obviously, uh, emotions running high from uh, her friend and, and many of her friends and those close to her. That was her message to James Dunmore, who is now being held at the Montgomery County Jail here. Authorities saying they couldn't provide much information like the events leading up to us uh, being here at the cemetery, saying this investigation is still ongoing and very active, but everyone will continue to lift Alicia Watts's name. We're live in Montgomery County. Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. You can hear the heartbreak in her voice, Jane. Thank you. Meanwhile, we're hearing more from loved ones as well of Alicia Watts, who have been dealing with this nightmare for weeks. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joins us with how they are reacting to these developments. Just, just heartbreaking. Yeah, as you can imagine, they are absolutely devastated today. Of course, this is not the outcome that they were expecting or hoping for but they say now they have closure and they can begin that grieving process. The family of Alicia Watts tells me they had hope she would come home, but they have been preparing for the worst. Still, that doesn't make today any easier. They want people to remember Watts and how she was a loving, joyful, smart person who helped anyone. Right now, they're heartbroken, but glad Dunmore has been arrested. Today, I spoke to Watts' cousin, Gwen Utley, who lives across the street from Dunmore. She says she watched him get arrested earlier today. This is her message to him. That was really cowardly of you to drag it out this long, to make us wait this long, to put us through all of this for over a month when you could have revealed and told us what you did. And the family's message to the community tonight is thank you. Thank you to everyone who helped look for Watts and spread this message across North Carolina. Now they're also asking that you keep them uplifted in your prayers. Reporting live in University for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.
All right, Lexi, thank you for that report. And of course, we will continue to bring you breaking updates in the Alicia Watts investigation. We'll have that on air, but also inside the WCNC Charlotte mobile app. That's a free download in the App Store and Google Play.